Okay, to make your crispy chicken, you're gonna need about 500 grams of chicken breast that I've just chopped up into large cubes, and then you want to season it with a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of vinegar, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Go ahead and crack in an egg, and then give it a really good mixing. You want to make sure that that egg and the spices coat the chicken really well. Go ahead and add one cup of corn flour and half a cup of plain flour and then make sure to really coat that chicken. You want to make sure each and every single piece of chicken gets a good coating. Get some oil on a frying pan and then we're going to just dip in the chicken one by one. You do not want to overcrowd the pan. Once you've put in half the mixture I would say, start to separate them so that they do not stick together because they really want to get together. So once you've fried off all the chicken, you just want to place it on a paper towel, leave it to air for about 10 minutes or so, it'll just allow the coating to get extra crispy, and then put it all back into the frying pan. This time it's okay to put everything back all at once, just because it won't stick this time. This time we're gonna fry it until it is nice and golden brown. It should take about three to four minutes. Once you've got your chicken looking that good, you want to take it out and then drain it again on a paper towel and just leave it now. Give it a little shake if you so please, just to get off any excess oil onto that paper towel. Okay, so let's sort out the veg. So you're going to use one green and red pepper and one white onion and you want to cut them up into large cubes. And then two to three slices of pineapple also cut up into large cubes. I'm just using canned pineapple. Let's get cracking with the sauce. So in a small bowl, add three tablespoons of tomato ketchup two teaspoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of white vinegar, one tablespoon of pineapple juice. I'm just using what was left over in the can from the actual pineapples, and then you want to give it a really good mix. Pour the sauce onto a wok or a large frying pan, and then you just want to bring it up to high heat. You want to add in a little bit of water. I think the consistency depends on how you like your sauce, but I've added about two tablespoons. And then you want to add in a cornstarch slurry, which is basically one teaspoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. It's gonna really thicken the sauce for us. And once the sauce is nice and thick like so, that's when you want to add in your veg. Keep in mind that we want to keep the veg crunchy, so just give it a few tosses and turns and then directly throw in the chicken. You don't want to keep the chicken and the veg on the stove for too long. So once you've coated all the chicken really well with the sauce, give it about two to three minutes and then it's time to come off the stove. You'll know it's time to come off when it looks that juicy. Believe me when I say that this dish is the replica of a Chinese sweet and sour takeaway and why take out when you can make it this good at home and that quick. I really enjoy this meal with a nice bowl of white rice. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see next and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.